Hey guys, welcome to lesson one uh, of Blue Jay. Um, so our, for our first objective, uh, as I as I as I said uh, way before in the previous video, uh, we're gonna start very basic stuff to more advanced stuff. So if you guys are a bit more experienced in Blue Jay, uh, I guess you can just skip ahead to the later videos. Um, but let's start with very basic stuff. So our first objective for this video, specifically. Uh, let's just say we want the program uh, or the code to spout out something, to, to uh, say something. Uh, and let's have that as, you know, hey, this is lesson one. How do we make the program uh, tell us, you know, hey, this is lesson one? Uh, okay. So, uh, first of all, let's start, you know, getting to the actual coding uh, place. So, we, we click on new class, left click. And then it prompts us with a class name. Let's just have a class name of lesson one. Uh, now the class type, uh, as you can see, there are several types of cool things you, you know you can do. Abstract classes, interface, applets. Uh, so there, are, there. Are, I mean, for now, I think there's no need for you guys to know these and what they mean. Uh, if I do tell you now, it's just going to confuse you. Um, so I, I'll just be sure to tell you guys what they mean in later videos. Okay, but for now, uh, for the first few videos, let's just stick with class, and we're just going to stick with class, okay? So lesson one, class, and then press OK. This creates a square box here, and that's the actual product we made called lesson one. So we're just going to double click that, uh, left click. Um, and what shows up is the actual coding. Uh, and this, this is like the BlueJay standard coding. It doesn't do anything. It just prepares stuff for you. Uh, but, you know, I think... It's, you know, for very beginner, you know, stuff, it's still kind of confusing. So let's just try and do everything from scratch, okay? Uh, so the first thing I want you guys to kind of know, or what I want you guys to know, is the common thing. Uh, so you start with dash, and then a star star, or asterisk, I believe it is. Um, the double that, and then just enter. Uh, so as you can see, it's like a blue, you know, colored uh, sort of thing. You can have as much as you want, okay? And what this is, is commenting. And what commenting means is, you know, hello. Uh, so commenting is just, you know, this is just for the human, you know, the programmer uh, to use. And what you can do with commenting is, you know, you, you in the beginning, you could just say what, you know, name, uh, what project it is, uh, date, date, um, and this is just for the human programmer. Uh, the computer does not whatsoever read this, and this is not what the coding is, okay? Uh, when you get into very long pieces of coding, uh, you know, you want to have stuff written in normal English, uh, just so you can figure out what you know, a specific piece of coding does. Uh, so you can, you know, you don't have to memorize your entire coding. And remember, sometimes, like, coding won't just be a few lines, it's going to be hundreds of lines, you know, thousands of lines. And you will definitely not be able to recall what each piece of complicated coding means. So you need commenting to kind of tell you, you know, okay, this line means this, this line means that. Uh, and as I said again, commenting, you can place it anywhere you want. Um, it will not fiddle with the code. The code, uh, the computer will not read this. This is for you. Um, okay. So let's actually start coding. Our objective was to have the system or the computer, you know, say, hey, this is lesson one. So in order to start that, the syntax goes like this. Uh, so public class. Now, you know, in, in terms of public and class, well, what do they mean? Uh, for now, I really don't want to tell you guys um, they're quite straightforward terms but for now I just want to save it for a later class um, again if I tell you guys a bit of weird complicated syntax stuff uh, it may just confuse you but for now just you know assume that you will always need you know this piece of syntax exactly as, as it is to start off every single you know uh, project of yours especially just in the beginning okay so public class, and then you have the name. So let's just call the name lesson one. This is the project name or the class name. Okay. Uh, 
lesson one. Doesn't matter, it could be anything. Uh, now, in order to start this lesson one project, or not project, but class, um, again, I'll try and, you know, define what they mean eventually. But for now, let's just assume we just knew this, okay? So, in order to start and open the public class, we're going to have squiggly brackets. So, this tells the code that, hey, you know, this public class called lesson one starts here. And then we're going to have another squiggly bracket like this to end it. It tells the computer that this public class ends here. So our coding will be in between this. Again, we're going to have a piece of you know complicated coding. It goes like public, static, void, main, and then bracket, string, uh, and then square bracket out, square bracket in, space, args, and then bracket um, to close that. Okay. Once again, you know what is public, what is static, what is void, what is main. You know what is it? What do they exactly mean? Uh, again, I think if I tell you guys right now, it'll just confuse you. So for now, just assume that you need this piece of code to start off every project. Okay. I I will promise you that I I will you know, explain what each of those terms mean in a later video. So as you guys did for this one, we needed open brackets and, and close squiggly brackets. We need that as well for here. This tells the computer that this uh, line or this piece of method opens here and it'll close here. Okay. So our coding, how we want the program to to tell us something, um, this is between these two brackets is where it'll go. Okay. So right in between here. Um, and the syntax, so we, remember we wanted hello, this is lesson one. So the syntax is like this system dot out dot print ln, so it stands for line, but we still say ln, uh, and then bracket open uh, quotation marks. This tells the program that, you know, the piece of text that you want to have written out, it, it, it's just it's just a sentence. You don't need to do any mathematical stuff to it, or you're not adding and subtracting. It's just a piece of text. So quotation, and then we say whatever we want. So we wanted, hello, this is lesson one. Uh, and then we're going to close that. Okay, this is to close the quotation mark. And then to close the whole print line thing, we have another bracket. Uh, now in BlueJ, um, after every single line, like right after here, we're going to put a semicolon. And this tells the program that, you know, we do this line, and then this semicolon tells the program that this line ends here. Now you can go to the next line. Okay, so obviously some of them don't have it. Some of them, it's just they don't need it. They're for classes or methods. But for every other line, you will need a semicolon at the end. Otherwise, the code will just not work. Uh, so there'll be an error as you see here. Semicolon expected. Okay? So semicolon here to fix that. Now what this program does, let me just show you in brief really quickly. It goes to public class lesson one. It, it, it knows that there's a public class which is called lesson one. It opens it um, and then it goes to this uh, method. It opens this method. Um, and then the next line is the actual line to, you know, say or, or print out uh, uh, for the user to see. System dot out print line, and it's going to print out whatever is within these quotes. You bracket, and then the semicolon is to say, you know, go to the next line. But there's nothing in the next line. It just ends up. So it's just going to kind of just do this. Okay? So let's just compile that. Now, after you compile, you need to compile every time. And after you compile, um, down here at the bottom, right here, it'll, you know, if there are any errors or anything like that, it'll tell you exactly, you know, quite specifically, so that's why another reason BlueJ is awesome, uh, it'll tell you right here quite specifically if there are any errors or if there are no errors, okay? So let's go back, so we, where this coding piece, you know, is done, let's just go back to the main page where this is lesson one, we're going to right click. And we're going to click on void main string. So let's click that. Uh, so this brings up to the argument uh, place. Um, you know, I'll explain it to you guys what this exactly means again um, at a later video. 
for now, let's just say that there are no arguments. Uh, that's what it's going to be for the next few videos, so don't worry about it, that yet. Uh, so no arguments, let's just press OK. And here it is. The uh, output is, hello, this is lesson one. This is exactly what we wanted, right? Uh, so that's it for lesson one. Uh, remember, I'll, I'll keep trying to have things very specific. Um, so yeah, join me for the next video. Thanks.